Alright people, welcome back, card review, more Burning Abyss support, we're gonna look at them all, so this is the second one of this uh, four-parter, little mini-series in the card review. So today we are looking at Libic, is that Libic? It looks like Libic, now branch of the Burning Abyss. So Libic is of course a Dark Fiend effect, level 3, his attack is 1300 and his defense is 700, Those both those stats are just bad. Like, wow. Like, you couldn't have gave him something? Like, those stats are just, yeah. Bad attack, bad defense, and nothing going on there. It's a fact. The usual Burning Abyss stuff. Can't get, you know, if you control monsters not Burning Abyss, destroy, blah, blah, blah. You're going to use one of the effects of Lipic once per turn, blah, blah, blah. Control no spell or trap cards. You can special this card from your hand, blah, blah, blah. All right. It's own individual effect. It's this card sent to the graveyard. You can special summon one level three dark fiend type monster from your hand. But his effects are negated. Alright, so... The sensitive graveyard summon from your hand? That's kind of... Uh, you know, I'm not really sure how I feel about this guy. You know, of course, it, you know, summoning a level 3 Dark Fiend type. Oh, you can summon Tour Guide. I don't know why you'd ever do that. Because Tour Guide only gets effect when it's normal summon. And his effect will be negated anyway. But we're talking about other Burning Abyss here, alright? Such as summoning other Burning Abyss monsters. But of course, their effects would be negated. Now, generally when you summon with your effect negated, that's kind of sucks. You're like, no, I don't want to get my effect negated. But this is actually fine because, of course, the Burning Abyss monster that you're summoning would have its effect negated. So therefore, it won't automatically get destroyed if you have a non-Burning Abyss monster on the field. You know? So, you know, for example, let's say you go Mathematician. Mathematician, you can go ahead and send this guy from your deck to the graveyard. He would go off and allow you to summon one of your Burning Abyss monsters from your hand. That way, its effect will be negated, and you have that Burning Abyss monster and Mathematician on field go ahead and extend to a Dante. So, that play is not bad. It's, it's really not that bad. Uh, you know, and, uh, and it frees you up from that lockdown that you sometimes have with Mathematician and, you know, your opponent not, you know, attacking to it. So, you know, just like Tour Guide summons the monster from the deck with its effect negated, and... Crane, Crane summons the monster from the graveyard effect negated. This guy summons the monster from your hand with the effect negated. So, uh, totally not bad. I'm just trying to figure out how useful that would be. Is it really necessary? Uh, of course, this can uh, help you get set up with your Fire Lake plays. So, uh, you know, like I said, you can go ahead and uh, uh, make a Dante. And then maybe if you detach a mill, maybe you... Mill into this guy who will allow you to summon the burning this monster from your hand, summon the burning this monster from your hand, set the fire lake. So, you know, it can kind of help. But I think that the best combo with this guy is probably the mathematician combo. But then it's kind of like, well, if you want to do that, you could always just go, all right, summon mathematician, send Scarm, Scarm first search for tour guy, you know, instead of going like, you know, summoning this and then, you know, not even plussing. You know, if you do the Scarm combo, you're plussing, you know. You have five cards in hand, you summon Mathematician, so hand to field, that's not an egg. Mathematician sends Skarm, that's still not an egg. Skarm during your end phase, grab tour guide, so you have the Mathematician on the field and five cards in your hand, including the tour guides that you just searched, so you just plus. This guy on the hand, you go Mathematician, send Libic, Libic, go off, summon and burn this monster from your hand, so you're still not an egg, so you're still, but you're not plussing either. You have the Mathematician, you have the monster you summon from your hand, and then you have three cards in your hand. Libic didn't really plus you anything. And then you have seen the Dante, which is a neg, unless you of course detach and mill something, you know. And you, so it's kind of like, yeah, you know, you know, or whatever you, whatever burn this monster you detached would get its effect because it didn't use its effect this turn, of course, unless you already used the effect this turn. But uh, uh, it doesn't plus you. I said that's the that's the thing here, you know. It's it's not giving you any pluses, you know. If you know, sir, graph. It's gone. Those are pluses, you know. Uh, you know, cow cab not really. A lich, not really. You know, they're not technically negs unless they're depending on where they're being sent from. But I'm assuming that they're being sent from the deck. So those aren't negs. This guy, all he's doing is summoning a bird of this monster from your hand to the field. From your hand field, those both count as how many resources you have. This the same pool. So. You're not plussing, you're not negging, it's still just monster from hand to field. You still got the same amount of cards in play, same amount of cards you control that you have uh, in play right now. So, uh, he's okay. I'm not sure if he would see any play. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe they would tech one. Just for, like I said, just for that mathematician play. You know, where they just open up, like, 
like they want to just do the mathematician play. But like I said, Skarm may be the better choice. Because, like I said, you can just go map petition, send Skarm, Skarm search for Tour Guide, Tour Guide, summon something else, like Seen to Dante. Or you can, of course, go map petition, send this, this will summon a burning of this monster from your hand if you have one. And then you can XC using the map petition with Dante. Because, you know, sometimes the, the, your opponent will not want to attack into your map petition, because not only will you get to draw, but then your field will be free uh, from non burning of this monster, if map petition is the only monster on the field. And, uh,. You can go off with your burning this plays it. You know, it kind of hinders you. If map petition talk on the field and you don't, and your opponent doesn't kill that map petition, you went from being able to just you know have any willy nilly burning this monster on the field that you want. I don't care. to just being limited to playing, uh, you know, uh, tour guide and crane crane, or else you know your burning this monster is going to get destroyed. So I guess this guy can help you out with that play by just simply just being like, hey, I guess having a burning this monster from your hand, its effects are going to be negated. So you don't have to worry about it dying, even with Mathematician, go ahead and exceed with Mathematician if you want to. So, like I said, he's not bad, but I really just can't put my finger on it. So, um, go ahead and tell me what you guys think about Libic in the comment section below. So, we got two more Burning Abyss cards to look at. We're going to be ha handling those next week, Tuesday and Thursday. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of the card review. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys... Uh, Yo, next Tuesday slash Thursday with some more Burning Abyss support. Alright guys, thanks for watching.